Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Jada Martinez. And I'm here with another installment, new video. And just catching up with you guys. So, if you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And make sure you comment and show me love. And tell me what you think about this video. In this video, this video will talk about updates, what's been going on in my life. As you guys know, I know I haven't been posting videos lately. It's been a minute since I've been posting videos. And it's just been a lot, so I just wanted to give you guys a little, um, a quick, um, recap of what's been going on, where I've been, and what I've been doing. But first, I want to say good morning. It's Sunday. It's really hot in New York City. I'm over here in my man's house under the AC because it's like 90 degrees. It's really hot. I don't know if you guys noticed. I got, um, I got Nala's braids. I just got them done before yesterday so they freshly done they look so cute on me so comfortable but she hooked me up thank you shout out to you thank you but yes let's um recap let's talk about where i've been what's been going on this month of may is um mental health awareness month so this is kind of personal to me and it's kind of like you know it hits home naturally a strong-minded mental person so i've never been depressed i've never been like down or anything like that but if you guys know i had a major surgery last year which i can honestly say to you guys it took a toll on me i thought i was definitely okay i thought i was fine i didn't feel like i was depressed i didn't feel like there was nothing wrong with me but to be honest with you and I could be honest with you guys too because this is my channel and I always want to be truthful and honest with you guys. I didn't know, but people around me, my family, Jason, my close friends, my people around me that love me noticed it right away. I was definitely depressed. And thinking about it i could just go back to how i was feeling those times everything about the surgery went okay i'm healing i'm still a little swollen but i'm still healing i feel good everything i did i look amazing i really i look really good but this surgery was such a roller coaster like it was honestly a big roller coaster ride for me because for the first six months how can I, I did not feel like myself. I didn't feel pretty. I did, I was honestly just like depressed. I didn't want to go nowhere. I wasn't working. I was staying in. I didn't want to go outside. I felt like a monster. Like I said, I felt ugly. I didn't really want to shower. All I wanted to do, staying here at JCN's house or at my house and just watch TV watch movies catch up on shows i didn't really want to eat but i didn't know that that was that was some of the signs of being depressed i just thought it was like oh you know the surgery i just thought that that was something that i had to go through you know to get better and heal and stuff like that i thought it was part of the process but to be honest you guys it was not it was my mom called it out my mom was the first one but jason my mom called the first then jason called it out after because, you know, they're the closest to me. I'm always with Jason. And my mom always talks to me through the phone every day. We talk every day. And my mom just noticed that I was just depressed. Like, I was not myself. Um, She was like, you're not laughing. You're not smiling. And for all of you guys who've been following me on my YouTube channel, my social media, you guys know how I am. I'm like goofy, smiling, joking, clowning around, always with a big smile, always with like life of the party, always like big personality. That's just who I always been as a child. Like I always been like always a fun person to be around. Nobody ever been around me that could say, oh, Jade is not fun or, 
she's down or anything like i'm always just a bowl full of energy and that's what i always been like that so my mom automatically noticed and jc noticed it right away and it was like you are depressed and you need to snap out of it because that's you're not being yourself but to be honest how could i be myself i was healing i felt ugly i didn't feel cute i didn't want to come outside healing over here in new york wasn't helping like i just feel like it's too much going on in new york people outside people in your face y'all know i had to wear that casket thing on my face so i just feel like you can never really be low-key in new york because there's so much shit going on so i just felt like it was the best decision i'm glad my mom just booked me a flight and said get on that flight and just come home and i'm glad i did i stood there for like a month and a half or like a month or three weeks or something i stood there and i spent it with my mom it was like a reset we laugh we joke to make me feel alive again and go back to my old ways and who i am naturally and stuff like that so I'm just glad my mom took me out of that box and JC on too because honestly everybody just noticed that I was being really depressed. So besides my mom taking me over there to Florida and stay with her, I also I always talk about and advocate for therapy, but honestly I did a lot more than usual while I was depressed. Like I was talking to my therapist at least once a week to talk about how I was feeling, how I felt about the surgery, like how I was feeling at that moment. And it honestly did made a big difference and a big help to me, to my depression. I did not know I could ever get depressed. Like, cause I'm so strong minded. I never really would have thought I would have been depressed and I was. And to be honest, I'm glad I'm in a better space right now. Now I'm happy, I'm back to my old self. I'm joking, I'm laughing, I'm being outside, and I'm enjoying myself. I'm looking cute, I'm feeling cute. Like, I'm just glad I'm getting back to myself. I'm still doing therapy, but I only do it like once a month, which I still recommend to everybody to always do therapy because that's very important and it's very good for you and for your mental health. So I feel like we all have traumas and things that we need to work on. So I definitely recommend anybody to seek therapy because it's very important. I know it worked it worked so much for me and it changed my life. And I'm glad I've been doing therapy for years now. I've been doing therapy for like three years, three or two years. But I was doing it like here and there. But when I was really depressed starting last year to now, I've been doing it more now. But now I just do it like once a month and I'm glad I went back to doing that because you feel so much better like i definitely that was a really dark place of my life when i was depressed and now i understand when people talk about depression and how they feel because i experienced that and you probably think like jada you're so beautiful you're so pretty you don't look like you go through anything but i'm at the end of the day i'm a human being i'm gonna go through emotions and i'm gonna go through feelings and i'm gonna be depressed you know it's it's things like that so i definitely went through the depression and was depressed honestly and i'm just glad I, i'm thankful for my therapist that i got my family for holding it down for me and letting me know that i was depressed when i was in denial myself and just being there especially my boyfriend jc on my close friends for noticing and talking to me and being there that was something so important to me also another thing so please make sure that if you're feeling down or you're feeling depressed or you're feeling something, make sure you talk to somebody and get yourself help because there's help out there. And there's always another light at the end of the tunnel. So it's never, it's always going to get better. We do not, us people of color, we need to stop thinking that when we are depressed or we need to talk about something that we shouldn't talk about it. And I feel like we should. That's a conversation we should always do. If talk about it and let's like deal with the issues and the traumas that we have as color of people let's talk about it and deal with it because I feel like we all have traumas and we have things that we have bundled inside that we don't often talk about and I feel like it's important to talk about it so you could feel better so I definitely suggest and advocate for therapy and mental health and awareness and education and speaking on that it's crazy that I'm actually speaking about that because l last weekend 
I actually, which I'm going to show later on when it finally comes out and edit and stuff like that. I actually did a campaign for um, Mental Health Awareness Month for this month for May. Last weekend, I filmed a commercial and also a photo shoot for House Health Heroes. And it talks about mental health issues. My my mental health issue was talking about depression, like I spoke about earlier, because that was my topic. That was close home, close to me, and it was close to home. And it was something I witnessed myself. So um, we were, we were we were heroes. We were talking about the campaign is is with Colin Lore featuring. House Lives Matter and it's over here from New York City, which I'm really excited for you guys to see and see the behind the scenes and the actual commercial and campaign. So I'm really excited. So make sure you guys look forward for that because that's going to come up. Also, another thing that I've been doing, that's the reason why I've been away. I started a new job in February. I'm now a supervisor for social service um, at a new um, job agency. So, you know, it has me, you know, on my ass and, you know, learning new things and stuff like that. So, that's another reason why I have been MIA from YouTube. But now, I'm back. I'm better. And I'm just happy to be alive and feeling much better and being back to my natural self and being the jolly, happy person I've naturally always been. So, you guys, make sure if you are feeling down or you need somebody to speak to, make sure you get help out there speak to somebody don't bundle in do not feel like there's something wrong with you because there's nothing wrong with you and make sure that you guys look up for my campaign that i did last weekend with colin lord and house lives matter about house health heroes also thank you for always supporting me always showing me love make sure also to connect with me on my social media all my social media let's connect with each other it's gonna be at the description box my Instagram, my Facebook, make sure we connect, you know, send me a friend request, let's connect, let's talk to each other, and make sure on this video you give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and if you ever been depressed or you had, had any mental health issues, let's talk about it, let's um, make sure you um, drop that in the comments, and also, let's speak about things that you guys want to see in the future about me and videos. So let's just connect and interact with each other. Make sure. Thank you for always showing me love. I love you guys. I love you kisses. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye.